Last year alone, over $3.8 billion was paid to freelancers on Upwork. Now, that is a huge, huge sum of money. And where there is such money, scammers will definitely be on the lookout for how to get their own share. They are always looking for new opportunities to take advantage of people, especially online. And unfortunately for freelancers, these scammers have found their way to Upwork. In a world where freelancing is basically on the increase every single day, with the constant and ever-present competition, freelancers often face desperate situations while trying to make money online. This desperation to earn a living online makes them the perfect victim for scams. The constant need to bid for projects and secure work can create a sense of urgency and anxiety. So, these scammers take full advantage of this by posting fake job ads on reputable freelancing sites like Upwork and Fiverr. And many freelancers, especially beginner freelancers, are easy prey who fall for their tricks. Sometimes, these freelancers even lose their money to these thieves. So, if you find yourself freelancing on Upwork, it is essential to be cautious and look out for signs of scam when searching for jobs. That is why I'll be sharing nice signs to know if a client is legit on Upwork. Being aware of these signs and knowing how to protect yourself online is crucial to avoid falling victims to these job scams. Make sure to watch at the end of the video as the last one is very important. So, let's get into the video. The first way to know if a client is legit is via the job description. One of the easiest ways to identify a fake or legit client is by looking at the job description. Scammers don't spend time creating highly detailed job posting. Their goal is to talk one-on-one. 90% -on -one. of the time, this job carries incomplete or vague descriptions. This is a major sign that the client is not serious about the job. Why you might find a legitimate job listing with spending or grammatical errors because of translation issues or without a lot of information because the client is inexperienced. This is just the first item on your checklist that should have you on guard. Keep watching to learn about other red flags that would definitely give the scammer away. The second way to find out if a client is legit is having a new account with no higher history. Before sending the proposal or accepting the job invite, check the client's activity to see if it is legitimate. Under the job description, you will see if the client has a verified payment method or if they have a rating or how much they have spent entirely on the platform. While the clients may be new to the platform and not have a verified payment method or higher, Make sure to note the date the account was registered. If it was registered same day or a few days earlier and does not have any job posting, you should be careful. If it is an old account with many job posting and no hires or one or two hires but without any major spending, you need to be extra careful as well. While brand new clients won't have reviews or ratings, they can still verify their payment method. Remember, if you accept an offer from a client who isn't payment verified, the contract will not be covered by Upwork's payment protection. Besides verifying the payment, a new client will likely have a website or additional verifiable information about their business that they can give to you to build trust and prove that they are legit. When you click on the job posting to apply, you'll be able to learn more about the client under the About the Client section. Another thing to note is that a job having the interesting job and featured job badges doesn't necessarily mean that the client is legit. An interesting job is awarded by Upwork's algorithm and it's just a guess. It can't verify whether the job or the client is legit. A featured job is a badge any client can pay for. Scammers can do the same. However, this job usually attracts high quality and established freelancers who are mostly not the scammer's target, so they are not very likely to pay for a featured job post. If you have watched this moment, it means you are getting value from this video. So, do well to hit the subscribe button to never miss any of my uploads. I am an upload freelancer with over 40k earnings and on this channel, I share freelancing tips like this often to help you succeed as a freelancer. The third side to know if a client is legit is that they will ask you to meet outside of Upwork. The thing is that this is the first side of a scam. If a client doesn't want to use Upwork messages and ask you to contact them on Telegram or WhatsApp or even email, while this is against Upwork's terms of service, it is also usually how a scam begins. They use Upwork to establish contacts and then move the conversation off the platform to avoid alerting the trust and safety team. The client will request to continue communications off Upwork via Telegram, WhatsApp or any communication tool. If a client asks that you move the conversation to a different messaging app, you can let them know that you only use Upwork messages both for your protection and because off-platform communications is not allowed on Upwork and it violates the terms of service. Remember, don't put yourself at risk like that. The next one is requesting for money. This is a common trick on Upwork. Majority of the people who fall for these are people who fail to heed to the previous point and are mostly in the writing niche. These scammers take you off Upwork with the promises of a long-term job with the company. In the process, they may ask you to do a couple of free or sample jobs. They may even pay you for these jobs and they don't mind. Moreover, it is a small price to pay to win your trust. After that, they will ask you to pay for a company ID card 
job security fee, onboarding fee, or some form of payment to properly get integrated into the company or receive your payment. This is a huge scam and you should not fall for it. Any money you send to them is gone for good. A legit client will never ask you to pay for anything. The next one is requesting for personal information. When you work as a freelancer on Upwork, be cautious if a client asks you for your personal information outside of the platform. This could be a sign of scam. You should never share your social security number, biking information, government ID, or address with clients or anyone else online. Upwork Terms of Service prohibits clients from asking for such information without a contract. By keeping all communication and transactions on Upwork, you can protect yourself from most of these common scams. The next one is offering to make payments off the platform. One of the most important rules to remember is to always keep payments on Upwork to have hourly payment protection and fixed price exclude. If a client asks that to conduct them outside of Upwork to assign work or get paid, this is a big red flag which violates Upwork's policy. You only have payment security as a freelancer if the transaction follows Upwork terms of service. Asking for off-platform payments is one of the most common Upwork scams. Clients may ask to pay you off the platform to avoid service fees. They are trying to scam the platform, not necessarily you. These types of scammers are putting you at risk of account suspension or even banning. You also have no guarantee that after you hand in your deliverable, they will actually pay you. They may use this as a way to get free work. The next one is a client asking you to buy items. A client may post a project asking for freelancers to purchase their product on Amazon or their website and leave a positive review. This helps to boost their profile and make the product seem more legit. While the clients may not read the Upwork or Amazon terms of service and realize this is a violation, it can also be part of a larger scam. You may be scammed again by the clients later on or they could use a tech scam to reimburse you. The next one is free trial or on beat test projects. As a freelancer on Upwork, you should never feel pressured to do work for free. Clients may ask that you do a free trial or an on beat test project as part of their job description or in the interview process before starting a contract. While asking for a test project is okay and a great way to evaluate talent, it should always be paid. This could be a scam, an attempt for clients to get free work from various freelancers. If you must do free tests, always check how many freelancers have been interviewed on the job post. If they are interviewing more than 3 or 4, then it is most likely a scam. They may ask each freelancer to complete a different free test project and then piece together a large project from the work which they didn't pay for. These scammers have no intention of hiring anyone. Their goal is to get free work, so don't fall victim. The next one is having contracts that are not funded. On Upwork, sending fixed price contracts to freelancers without funding is a thing. I don't know why it is even possible to do that on Upwork, but a client can start a contract with you without actually funding the extra. Always make sure to check the amount funded in escrow and ensure a substantial amount or full amount has been funded before any work starts. They can send you a contract and after the job is completed, you don't see them again. You have a contract but no payments. Upwork will not cover that because it is your responsibility to ensure contracts are funded before work begins. So, don't make that mistake. Lastly, this list is not exhaustible. Scammers keep coming up with new tricks to scam freelancers and they won't stop. One of the ways to ensure you don't fall victim is to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon because I'll constantly keep you updated on the latest activities of scammers on the platform. I also shared more tips on how to identify scams on Upwork. Click the video on your screen to watch that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.